How does the quality of a footing surface impact the horse's physical health and performance during training and competition? Well, I, th I think we've seen that over the years with uh, beautiful footing here, with your footing at the um, desert um, horse park, that um, horses do improve. And especially at the international level, the footing has to be perfect. So once again, having this uh, firm but forgiving footing is, um, is crucial. What measures can be taken to maintain and optimize the quality of the footing surface? Um, what we're doing here, Heidi, as um, you recommended, um, there's proper hydration for the footing, there's proper drainage, and then the consistent grooming. And um, it's really not that labor intensive. I mean, it takes t uh, about 10 minutes to harrow the arena and um, another 10, 15 minutes to uh, hydrate it. So um, having, having the perfect footing requires perfect maintenance. Yes. And I know you guys uh, once a year have uh, Olympia come in and flip the footing and do deep conditioning. Yeah, Tony from Olympia does, um, uh, does dig up the footing, make sure the drainage is okay underneath mm -hmm. and uh, levels in, levels uh, everything. I think um, leveling the arena um, is, is also very crucial. And, and again, what's so neat, then we have the situation that we have a footing at home that's identical to most of the international footings in anywhere in the world, including the Olympics, um, the World Cup and the World Equestrian Games. Join us next week for more with Stefan Peters.